Holy crap. We need a bigger truck or a smaller camper. Welcome back to Runaway Roses. Today we're going to do something that we've never done before. That's right. We're going to go weigh our truck and camper. We have never weighed any of our truck campers. So we're real curious to find out what this thing weighs. We know what the numbers say, but we're going to go find out the, the real numbers. So if you want to make a guess, leave a comment down below. But uh, stick around. We're going to go find out. We better fill up, get a full tank, so we, that way we got a good benchmark of full truck and everything we got in the camper. Uh, there it is, 91 bucks. Get out your money. We're about to go through the scale, so find out what happens. Carl, any guesses on what we weigh? Um, I would say close to 13,000. Probably about right. Uh, That's based on information that he told me, though, so. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of an educating guess. Yeah, our, our, we know the our camper weight is 3,645 pounds, and uh, plus some of the stuff we have in it. The tanks are currently empty. And uh, there are two uh, propane tanks that are, one's full, one's just slightly used. And uh, there's no water in the tank, so uh, we do have some of our stuff in there, but the refrigerator is empty. Mm -hmm. So um, it's basically set up for camping, just minus some groceries and, and, uh, and water for the most part. So um, I'm guessing probably around 13,000. Yeah, maybe, I'm hoping for a little bit less, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's go pull through and find out. Okay. We have no idea what we're doing here at first time, so we're going to try to use the app. I know. Let's find out what happens. We do not. 622 is the location. You type that in on the little thing. 622. There was a cart blocking the scale, so we're not sure if it's open, but we went around it. $12.50. It's a bargain. Now what happens? I don't know. Hopefully it'll just go through and tell us. We may have to go inside. I didn't push the button on there, so... I don't know what we're doing. What does it say? Wow. Uh, we'll go over this. Um, gross 14,160 pounds. Holy crap. Holy crap. We need to go ahead and get a printout. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 14,160 pounds. Yikes. Holy crap. That is way beyond what I would have guessed. <laughs> oh my God. We need a bigger truck. <laughs> <laughs> We need a bigger truck or a smaller camper. Oh wow. my gosh. Why is it so much? Holy crap. Gosh. I cannot believe how heavy. I mean, I know we got a lot of stuff. These are all reserved over here, so we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go somewhere else, okay. Yeah. We, well, we first need to go get our print out. Yeah, let's go get our print out. The lady was all like pissed. Why? Because 
that some, somebody parked that golf cart over there in front yeah. of the scales and they yeah. just left it and it was the, the lady behind the counter and she was just like going off she was like cussing and she was like robert i know you can hear me call me now like on the on her, oh blocking the scales he's blocking the scales make people think they're not open yeah and, and that's what we thought <laughs> well this is crazy this is crazy. I don't even know what to think. Our truck weighs 14,160 pounds. I mean, that is totally shocking. Um, I wasn't, I wouldn't have guessed that at all. The steer axle is 5,460 pounds and the rear drive axle is 8,700 pounds. So thankfully, uh, I know this truck is rated for a 6,000 pound front axle and the rear axle is uh, 9,850 pounds for the rear axle, but the total gross weight is way over. This truck is rated for 14,000 pounds GVRW, so and we're at 14,000 pounds 160. We don't have all of our stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean this, the truck is uh, full of tools. Um, do have a lot of tools in here because that's that's how we travel i bring a lot of tools and like to be prepared right so um yeah i mean we don't even have everything in here i mean taylor would be in here that's another 60 pounds our clothes our groceries cooler, cooler. full of stuff and uh, not to mention the refrigerator in the in the camper and if you wanted to fill the tanks with water or yeah I mean, tanks are empty refrigerators empty and we're already 14,160 pounds. It's, I'm just shocked. I, I don't, yeah, wow. I'm stunned. I would like to go drop the, the camper and go in and just weigh the truck by itself. So if we can find a safe place to go take it off the truck, uh, we're going to do that. But we're going to go drive around and see if we can find a spot to do that. It's pretty busy here today. But uh, so we'll get back to you on that. Todd's going to go ask this hotel if we can park the camper here while we go weigh it again. See, he's walking up there now. It's an empty parking lot. I kind of don't want to leave it anywhere. It makes me a little bit nervous because this isn't the greatest area. But it's only for a few minutes, so I'm sure it will be fine. So the hotel gave us the approval to drop the camper here. So we really appreciate that. And uh, so it's kind of a big job just to take it all off, just to go away. But you know what? It's worth it. So we're here. Let's do it. Let's find out exactly what the truck weighs, exactly what the camper weighs, and uh, let's go from there. So start taking this thing, taking the locks off, and uh, get this thing off. I love these airbags. You can let the air out and drops it down two and a half inches on its own. Very cool. All right, success. We got the camper off the truck. Yep. Ready to go weigh it? What do you think it's good the truck's gonna weigh by itself? Probably, let's see, probably like 9,500. We get all the tools in here. That's a pretty good guess, 9,500 pounds with all the tools. Yeah. And then, I don't know. Good guess. I'll say 9,000 pounds. Carl's guessing 95. You take your guess below, put it in the link. And uh, we'll all find out together. Let's go. We'll be back. We'll be back, <laughs> Bigfoot. We're just going right there. So here's the scales. Basically, you pull up forward. You put your your front wheels 
on this pad here and then the second pad you put your rear axle back there and then of course if you have a camper trailer it'd be back there so that's how they figure the front axle weight your rear drive axle weight and whatever your trailer weight is back there so you just pull up you put in the number in this case it's 622 and uh, use the the cat, the cat scale app and it works great okay we're back from the scales and uh, it was a shocking experience it was very eye-opening it was very eye-opening <laughs> It was, it was not what I expected. I mean, I knew we were, the whole rig was going to be heavy, but uh, not at uh, what, it, what it came in at. So um, we'll go over it again here real quick. The, the overall gross weight is 14,160 pounds. So that's, uh, that's surprising. Um, again, the steer axle came in at 5,460 pounds and the drive axle at 8,700 pounds. So uh, thankfully those are both under spec for the truck, but the gross gross weight is over. It's a 14,000 pound rated truck. And then when we took it back and just weighed the truck alone without the camper, the truck came in at 9,500 pounds. I was right. Carla was right. It was 9,500 pounds. And that's basically, uh, obviously no camper, but you know, with two of us in there, uh, my tool bag, uh, I have a, a wrench set in there and I got actually, I got a bunch of tools in there. And, uh, you know, so there's quite a bit in there, but Taylor was not in there. There's typically a cooler in there and some other stuff. So, uh, it came in at 9,500 pounds. So that means with the with the gross weight with the camper and the truck being 14,160 pounds, that means our camper weighs 4,660 pounds. 4,660, yeah. Yeah. So that's surprising. 4,660 pounds in this camper. Um, we don't have a ton of stuff in here, so. I didn't think we did. I, I mean, maybe we do. Whenever you move stuff from one camper to the other, you kind of realized how much you do have in here. I thought I had sort of decluttered a little bit. We I did take some stuff out yeah. from camper to camper, actually. But, but still, it's we're still overweight. I've got some canned stuff in here. We talked about maybe doing some dry stuff instead of canned stuff. Uh, maybe I can get rid of my cast iron skillet. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but those are like, you know, <laughs> your skillet you use every time you go camping. Yeah. So I don't really feel like there's that much extra that uh that we're bringing along I and mean, we've slimmed down over the years of the stuff we bring our refrigerator is empty um some of the cabinets in the front of the camper are empty yeah. there's nothing in there mm -mm. uh we got some you know st typical stuff in the drawers and under the cabinets and you can see up here there's you know some storage bins with some plastic silverware and stuff like that in there and and uh so i don't know i'm not sure how we can slim down a whole lot i guess and i hate to take the tools out of my truck we don't want to remove tools because yeah. we've we've used them. We used you know? them, you know. I mean, I keep a bottle jack in my truck, eight ton bottle jack. So, so it's like uh, it's like now what? I mean, I didn't really expect this camper to be that heavy or that much overweight. So if we add water, uh, you know, the, another forty yeah. gallons of fresh water, that's whatever three hundred thirty, three hundred fifty pounds or something. Yeah. So, um, you know, that would push it way on up. We can easily get over 5,000 pounds. Yeah. I mean, and he's, uh, one of the things that we may not have accounted for before is maybe the propane, but still like how much. Yeah. The propane, there are two propane tanks in there. One of them's full. The, the second one is kind of slightly used, I think. So there's probably, I think each full propane tank, 20 pound propane tank is really about 38 pounds to, to weigh it. Um, so it's, you know, there's, you know, there's probably 70 pounds worth of propane tanks in there, you know, so that adds stuff. Um, we added the brackets to make it fit on this truck. Yeah. And those are, side. those are heavy. Yeah. To tie the camper down. Those brackets are heavy. That's probably an extra 60, 70 pounds. So, you know, every little bit counts and it adds yeah. up, you know, but, so I just really didn't expect this. So, um, I mean. And I know this camper was light is lighter than our 
um, or I feel sure that it is lighter than what our Lance was. Our Lance felt heavy. It, it felt heavier on this truck than, than this does. So When you rode down the road, it felt yeah. heavier. So if that's the case, then we probably were significantly overweight then. So um, I can't We should have weighed when we had it. Yeah, I wish we had weighed when we had it. Yeah. I think I'm going to start uh, trying to stop in the scale and, and weigh more often and uh, to really find out. So... You know, that's, that's the thing about the truck camper. You really need to keep a close eye on, on you know, what the camper weighs. Um, we're going to go to a rally uh, in a couple weeks, and there's a scale right near where we're going, so we're going to try to weigh it fully loaded. Mm -hmm. This camper on the tag, it says it weighs 3,200 and something pounds, and that's a base weight. That is a base as, as in, this is... But if you buy the camper without an air conditioner, without a generator, and I don't know, whatever the other basic standard uh, features are. So um, with the additional air conditioner and generator on the certificate of origin, it says that this camper is 3,645 pounds. Um, now, I, I, I'm not so sure that that's quite accurate, but... I mean, I, I I don't really know. I can't say that it's not because I don't really know how much all of our stuff weighs. Yeah. You know, but it does make me wonder. Um, I I don't see how we have a thousand pounds worth of stuff in this camper because it doesn't seem like there's that much or that much storage. But uh -uh. Um, so I don't know. So uh, so if you got a truck camper, uh, you know, double check all those weights and and if you can do what we did, weigh your truck, weigh your or weigh your truck and camper and then drop your camper weigh Actually, your truck a tip is when you first get your camper weigh it before you put yeah, anything that's in good it. yeah we wish we would have done that so yeah. we know so we had a baseline but we don't we didn't yeah yeah that would have been nice to know and then they really tell how much you put kind of put in it but mm -hmm. um so it's it's been eye-opening and enlightening and uh i'm not sure what we're going to do about it other than Remove some stuff. Uh, yeah, remove some <laughs> stuff. You know, we had, we had talked about getting uh, a flatbed uh, and putting it on our truck, but that would add additional weight because the flatbeds yeah. are much heavier than the stock bed that comes on on the pickup truck. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm not so sure about that idea anymore. Uh, might need something a little a little yeah. stronger. Um, you know, because if we hook up a, a trailer, you know, then you got additional tongue weight. The, the extensions off, off the back are super heavy, um, you know, so it's so easy to just start throwing stuff, you know, to bring bring along with you to go camping. And, and we just got a super hitch, isn't that what it's called? Yeah, it's, it's a super truss, super truss. Uh, for the extension. Still need to get a hitch, and the hitch would be additional weight, and that's heavy. So, um, you know, it adds up fast. So yes. if you can, get by a, a scale, weigh your rig. Find out. It's real easy to do, too. Yeah, the app makes easy. it super easy. You don't even have to communicate with the people inside. You just download the app, type in the number of the location that you're at, which is on the, the call box, and then sit there and you know, make sure you're situated on the scale. And then Yeah, you got to put your front tire on the front pad and your rear tire on the second pad, and that way they can weigh each axle. And, uh, but it's easy. Just pull up and do it. It doesn't take but just a few minutes. So uh, it's definitely worth doing. We're going to do it more often. Mm -hmm. And if, if we hook up the trailer and we're passing by one, I want to go by and do that yes. as well. So find out what the whole rig all together weighs. So it's been fun. It's been interesting. Yep. Yep. Well, I guess that's about it. So, uh, if you got any comments, if you got any suggestions or anything like that, please let us know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, we might need a, some help to figure out how to lose a little weight on this camper. Uh, Maybe uh, we could actually physically yeah, lose a little yeah, weight. <laughs> that might help. I need to go on a diet, you know. Uh, I can lose 20, 20, 30, 20, 20 or 30 there would be good. Yep. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.